Hello Cancer, I hope you're doing awesome, are healthy and happy. Things are going well for you. Time for your reading. We're going to see what's coming towards you, what you'll be facing, dealing with in your life, and how to best handle it for your highest good, of course. And we also going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. No matter what sign or gender they are collectively, we're going to ask what's going on with them in their life, what they're dealing with, facing that you are allowed to see for your highest good. And we also going to ask how your soulmate is currently relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. What is in their head? What are they thinking? So let's do this, Cancer. Universe, please step in. Show us very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what is coming towards Cancer? What will Cancer be dealing with, facing? What is coming towards Cancer? Wow, the sun. How beautiful is this? The best energy in the whole deck, especially in position one. Um, some of you may be dealing with the Leo. Wow, the moon. I never like the moon card except when the sun card is near it or next to it or on top of it. So that means um, you have had some confusions, some uh, unanswered questions where this relationship is heading, where your life is heading with or without this relationship. So if you still feel unsure or uncertain, you will have the answer. You will have clear vision of of what you need to do and how you need to proceed for your highest good with or without this relationship, um, the soulmate relationship that you are in right now or thinking of right now. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo, also another Cancerian, Scorpio and Pisces. Wow, this is you concentrating on yourself, health, finances, job, business, justice beautiful wow justice gaining balance in your life seeing clearly what needs to be done also seeing clearly the other person's point of view in this relationship with you understanding their point of view understanding their vision because remember we all are learning different lessons um they may be very much at a different level of spiritual development from you. Uh, so we are learning different lessons through different challenges. This is beautiful energies. Three major arcana showing up here. So a lot of you ask for guidance and assistance through prayer or meditation, asking what it is you need to do in your life. Um, this is beautiful also. The Three of Pentacles means concentration of your energy on your health, financial stability. Yeah, you're very introspective. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo. But no matter what sign you're dealing with, you're very introspective, wise. You're trying to make very wise decisions for yourself. And look, you are getting guidance from the universe. You see, you are. So listen to your intuition. You are getting guidance. Okay, this is beautiful. Wow, new beginning, passion. So some of you will have another person or have another person that's around you. Uh, they are a little confusing to you. You're not sure you understand them or their behavior towards you. Um, that's another person, also another soulmate, because we have many soulmates since we live many lifetimes. So soulmate doesn't always mean romantic. No, it means a person that you know on a soul level from different lifetimes, from different kind of relationships. Sometimes it was family, uh, sometimes coworker, neighbor, friends, you name it. So we switch roles to learn different lessons. Okay. So there is another person that you are kind of confused about. Uh, they may be another water sign or Virgo or Leo or um, Libra. 
no matter what sign they are, there's somebody on your mind that you are not certain about where this is heading. If you're friends or potentially more than friends or acquaintances. Um, but if you're confused right now, you will have clarity or uh, will understand where this is heading. Yeah, this is you taking care of business. This is you learning that reciprocity, proper communication is very important in all relationships, not just romantic relationships. For some of you, this shows um, uh, legal matter, something to do with the judicial system, a court system, uh, something about money. So maybe some of you will be dealing with a legal matter that has to do with finances, money, property. This is you missing your soulmate uh, that you're not currently in contact with and the soulmate is missing you. And you guys have been soulmates many lifetimes. You're showing up here. So whatever sign your person is that you're missing, you're not in contact with, that you feel confused about uh, from your past, recent past, uh, this person is missing you as well. Look, so you walked away from them or they walk away from you. Uh, it looks like both of you are walked away from each other. Uh, you wanting a new beginning in your life. You want to take a leap of faith in something new. Uh, this is you not getting communication from your person being confused about where this is standing right now so you do love your person your soulmate that you're not communicating with that you are missing you do love this person you do wow your person is wanting to bring a solid offer to the table but they are taking their sweet time so it looks like they may have taken you for granted in the past or maybe they didn't put in enough work through service or communication or both and they realize they still love you uh, this is you realizing that uh, your relationship or your future relationship that you want to have better understanding better communication in your relationships with people. Uh, so you are wanting to heal. Uh, you're walking away, at least emotionally, from your person. Uh, so it was toxic. It was toxic in the recent past. Uh, but you still feel confused, unresolved, like you need to communicate. You need to talk with this person. Mm -hmm. Some of you will be going or are going through some kind of court case, something legal. Uh, but it shows victory for you. Uh, you feel so beat up. For those of you who are going through it or will be going through it, you feel so tired, exhausted, but uh, the universe is showing you that uh, for those of you that are right, that, it, that are correct, you will, you will persevere, you will win the case and be victorious. So justice will be on your side if you've done things right and correctly. Uh, you will win this, okay? I want to pick two more over here. Yeah, so you feel so unresolved. So communication, problems with communication, uh, silent treatment showing up here with this person from your recent past that you are not communicating with right now. You guys will need to find a way to communicate to resolve this so uh, you understand each other better because it shows here that um, you guys are not understanding the other person's views, uh, perception uh, of the situation. So it would be very beneficial for you guys to communicate face to face and um, see each other's views, understand each other's views, to understand each other better so you can see where this is leading. It's a very significant soul connection because the justice card showed up. So you definitely have a soul contract with this person 
and wherever you leave off in this lifetime you're gonna have to pick up in the next lifetime mm -hmm. let's see your soulmates energies what's going on with them universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer for cancer's highest good please universe the soulmate of cancer no matter what sign or gender they are collectively what is the soulmate of cancer dealing with facing in the life that cancer is allowed to see for the highest good and how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer especially emotionally so let's see cancer what's going on with your soulmate the one that you are not um communicating with too much or maybe there's silent treatments so this person is hoping for communication messenger energy page of wands wow the tower so it was toxic it was a toxic uh energy between you two and had to be dismantled this person is hoping to communicate with you they feel they need to communicate with you they do they also concentrating on their finances uh they good with whatever they do they diligent workers whether they work for somebody else or for themselves they feel they would like to but they don't they're not sure if you're still interested they're not sure if you still care if you still want to but if they found out that you do want them back in your life they would be willing to bring a solid offer to you cancerians yeah some of you may be dealing with fire signs air signs earth signs leo sagittarius aries aquarius libra gemini virgo taurus capricorn you know please clarify these energies what is going on with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer especially emotionally they've been waiting 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 patiently for your message some of you are dealing with a sagittarius they've been waiting wow so <laughs> there is a lot of misunderstanding between the two of you inconsistent communication showing up here the tower heartbreak showing up here here is a person crossing their um arms over their heart chakra problems with communication indecision so they are in very indecisive unsure if they should proceed how they should proceed when they should proceed they feel like they are at a crossroads um, they've been waiting on communication to see if you reach out and ask them if you if they can see you or if you if you talk to them that you want to yeah look at this so they're showing up here with wishy-washy energy it's like one day they want to reach out and then they stop themselves yeah they withdrawn they very withdrawn they also are they also are analyzing their past behavior with you when they were they were together with you in this connection they looking at their behavior uh, they see themselves as behaving irresponsibly maybe they left you for somebody else or they walked out on you or they took you for granted so they reviewing that behavior they looking at it objectively and admitting to themselves whatever mistakes they made they admitting those mistakes remember we all make mistakes every single person on this planet makes mistakes but the point is to uh realize it admit it and not repeat those mistakes again so this person is reviewing their past actions and being honest objective with themselves about what it is they did wrong or said wrong <clears throat> or didn't say that they should have said so this person is uh, very wise right now very introspective using their wisdom to determine what it is that they uh, did wrong or said wrong or didn't do that should have done uh, this person is very wise right now mm -hmm. intelligent objective 
introspective. Uh, they want to learn from whatever they feel they made mistakes with. They want to learn from their mistakes. And they want to see your point of view. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo also. Um, Sagittarius. So this person would be willing to bring you a love offer. Some kind of emotional token of appreciation. Maybe a gift. Maybe apology. Wow. Look at this. The sun. The best energy on the, on the in the whole deck. In the whole tarot deck. Uh, representing... Uh, Leo, some of you are dealing with the Leo, strong Leo energy. This person feels that they have a very significant soul connection with you. And yes, this confirms it here. The two of you know each other on a soul level. Look at this. This is like you being twins. Here it is, two kids looking at the sun. The sun uh, showering them with uh, sunlight. Uh, which stands for love, life, uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this person loves you a lot, but they have problems with communication. Uh, silent treatments are also showing up here. Yeah, they over-analytical, they over-analyzing, they worrying, they worry excessively, they worry a lot, they over-analyze, they over-analyze, they worried so if this person took you for granted in the past or you took them for granted in the past or you both did it to each other, this person realizes that they would like they would like to have this long-term commitment with you. Uh, but they are scared. This also shows uh, problems with communication plus the tower showing up here. So this shows they are uncertain. Uh, when to reach out, how to reach out, what to say. They overanalyzing too much. They worrying excessively. Plus the Eight of Swords being on top of Ace of Swords makes it Nine of Swords. Uh, right above the Knight of Wands means that they have deep regrets about some mistakes they've made in the past. So they recognize that they've made some mistakes and they regret those mistakes deeply. Yeah. They are regretting the, those mistakes, whatever it is they made. Um, so this person is applying wisdom. They are learning. They looking back at their behavior. and Whatever it is they did, or you did, or you both did. Most likely both of you did it because it takes two to tango. Every single person makes mistakes. But... This person is applying wisdom, looking back at what has transpired, what was said, what was done between the two of you, and they are trying to learn. They being objective, honest with themselves, and trying to learn uh, from whatever the mistakes were. Um, yeah, they very objective. But here it shows problems with communication between you two. Let me see more messages for you before we go into the extended. So let's see more messages for Cancerians. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what else do you need Cancer to know? This is very strong extra. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Being in love. King of Cups. Unexpressed love. Secret love. Wow. you hiding it from this person. So you are in love with this person, but you are not willing to tell them or show them. You are hiding it. They also hiding it from you. So both of you, because this king has two cups, not one cup, like most decks do. That means, and this means hiding it, uh, not showing it. Uh, yeah, you guys are hiding it from each other. So both of you are in love with each other still. And both of you are not willing to express it. Wow, that's a very powerful message. You are hiding from them that you still love them. And they are hiding from you that they love you. <sighs> so communication needs to happen. Definitely you guys need to talk. This is showing four of swords here. So this card is divided into two and sometimes three sections. So four of swords over here means 
problems with communication, silent treatments. Here, the sword is pointing towards the ground, which means you guys are not willing to tell the other person that you love them. So both of you have the same feelings towards each other, and both of you are willing to hide it from each other. So communication will need to happen, both of you. Somebody is going to have to be brave enough to extend the olive branch and start this communication and be honest during communication. Yeah, so both of you are hoping, wishing to bring solid energy, solid commitment to the table. Neither one of you is able to release the other. So both of you try to forget about the other person and neither one of you is able to release the other person. And here it shows you and them as well. Both of you have other people interested in you both, but neither one of you want to see the other per, the other people. You're not interested in other people and neither are they. You are thinking of your person and your person is thinking of you. Neither one of you is able to release the other. Wow, this is a powerful message. You see, silent treatment, four of swords. You guys need to communicate. You guys need to talk openly, face to face to resolve this because there are a lot of misunderstandings on both sides. And both of you are heartbroken because neither one of you is understanding what's really going on uh, because you guys are not communicating. So that communication will absolutely have to happen in order to resolve this and in order for you to understand each other. Um, let's see. Universe, please step in. Show very clear messages. The soulmate of Cancerian. What's going on with the soulmate of cancer see some of you are dealing with the fire sign sagittarius leo aries um this person would like to take action towards you no matter what sign they are also earth signs or uh, water signs and uh air signs showing up strong leo energy and strong gemini energy you see this person so you guys are so opposite the way you view relationships um and you are so confused what the other person is thinking and wanting where in fact both of you want the same thing but you are thinking the worst negative thoughts thinking misunderstanding the other person because you guys are not communicating there is a silent treatment showing up here and heartbreak from both of you. So both of you feel heartbroken, misunderstood. And neither one of you is willing to communicate because the sword is pointing towards the ground. And here the ace of swords is pointing towards the ground. So neither one of you is willing to extend the olive branch. Both of you are being stubborn right now and not communicating. Um, some of you are dealing with another Cancerian. You see, this person wants to bring a solid offer, and so do you. So both of you, if you understood each other better, both of you really want to do the same thing, be together again. Yeah, this is beautiful. A lot of passion you have for each other. Love and passion. So we have two aces here, ace of pentacles, ace of wands, new beginnings, new beginnings. Wow. You see? On top of King of Cups is another King of Cups from another deck. So both of you feel the same feelings for each other, but you are not communicating. You are hiding it from each other. Yeah, you're very guarded emotionally, misunderstanding each other greatly. Yeah, you need to talk. Mm -hmm. And if you, the two, if the two of you, the universe is showing you, if the two of you talk openly, honestly with each other and not hide feelings from each other, you will resolve this and be satisfied with the resolution. This is wish fulfillment. This is solid commitment, relationship, new beginnings. Beautiful. So this is you keeping your standards high. But you can still keep your standards high while you are communicating. Uh, 
honestly, objectively with the other person. This is new beginnings. For some of you, this is a strong message. The combination of these two energies is a strong message of pregnancy. So if you guys don't want to have a child right now, make sure you take proper uh, precautions, okay? Because this means pregnancy right here. Uh, so some of you don't want to have a child right now. So if that's the case, be very careful. Uh, for a lot of you, though, I see here that there's somebody in your family or close to you, maybe a very close friend, somebody will have a child and that child will be very significant in your life. You, you know this soul on a soul level from other lifetimes. So that's for some of you. I want to use a full deck to clarify this Four of Swords, which means uh, heartbreak and silent treatments, no communication. It's heartbreak because the Three of Swords is right above your heads. So let's see, universe, please clarify these energies. The soulmate of Cancerian and Cancerian. Wow. So you guys walked away from each other like it's the end. Both of you emotionally are giving up on each other, either though you still love each other. All these emotions showing up here. Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, <laughs> Knight of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles. You guys need to communicate. Definitely, 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 definitely need to communicate because you are greatly misunderstanding each other. There has been silent treatment for too long and you guys are misunderstanding each other you really need to communicate yeah to be able to understand each other and then decide what the two of you will do with this connection with this relationship so cancerians we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans towards you Anything they hiding from you have up their sleeve, whether they doing it on purpose or can't communicate right now because of silent treatment. Uh, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle this summit connection at this time. And anything else you need to know, whether it's about your health, finances, family, uh, finances, job, whatever it is you need to know, the universe will show that at the end of the reading as well. So Cancer, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Thank you, guys.